G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're taking a 200 out for a bit of a play and I thought I might take the chance to show you guys some of the electronics this car has to assist us when we go forward driving and how they all work. So uh, hang around to find out more. So without lockers, this is where a lot of cars would get stuck. But well, today I'm going to show you how in the 200 series we can use our electronic controlled systems to get this car to the top of this hill. Okay, so in today's video we're going to go over all the electronic features that this 200 series has to make it that little bit easier when we go off-road. So that includes everything from a centre diff lock, traction control, multi-terrain select, crawl control and turn assist. So let's get straight into it. Okay guys, so the first system we're going to talk about is the centre differential. So these cars are an all-wheel drive all the time. Okay, so when we're driving on-road, power is being sent to both axles, however, that power is not being evenly split. Just like a differential on axle, the power will be sent to the axle with the least resistance. So when accelerating on high traction surfaces like bitumen on a road, most of your power is going to be sent to the front axle. Now there's a large list of reasons why that's an advantage, including traction um, for acceleration and also smooth power delivery. But when we're off-road, we want that power to be split through the transfer case evenly, 50-50 to either axle. So in this car, there's a switch by the driver's right knee which you can activate, which will lock that center diff and make sure the power is split between the axles evenly, giving as much traction around the car as possible. So the next thing, just like most four-wheel drives, this Land Cruiser 200 comes with a low-range gearbox. Now the reason we want that is for situations where we're doing slow speed, uh, four-wheel driving and crawling, where we need high torque. Okay, so it's gonna bring the ratios of the gears down and give us a lot of high torque, slow speed, and allow us to crawl over obstacles in a uh, higher gear which gives smooth power delivery and smooth off-roading. Okay, so when activating low range on these Land Cruiser 200s, these cars give you the option to select from a multi-terrain select system. Now what this is, is it's a system to allow you to choose a style of terrain that you're driving on at the time, and the car's gonna alter the sensitivity of the traction control system to uh, maximize traction on those surfaces. So for example, this car has a sand mode, and what that does is it relaxes the traction control system, so it doesn't engage quite as easily, and uh, you don't want that on sand, you want the wheels to be able to spin freely to an extent. On the other end of the spectrum is rock mode. So rock mode is uh, where the traction control system comes on almost immediately with wheel spin, and it uh, does start to pull you up, limiting wheel spin as much as possible, giving you as close to a locked car. Okay, so possibly one of my favorite systems on this car is one that Toyota call crawl control. So what this is, is there's a system that allows you to activate it in low range, and it takes measurements from both the wheel speed sensors and also the G sensor, which is your gravitational force sensor within the car. What this does is it then calculates and alters a brake pressure and engine output and sends the power to the wheels with the most traction, which is exactly the opposite of what an unlocked diff would do. What this allows you to do is crawl up things, through things and over things at a really slow speed with maximum traction and uh, really give the vehicle some mechanical sympathy. So the times you're going to want to use something like crawl control is a scenario like the one that I played at the start of this video, where I was stuck and the wheels were spinning freely in an unlocked situation trying to go up a rutted out hill. Now you probably saw the wheels start to spin and then I came down a bit when I lost momentum and those spinning wheels got traction with the dirt and came to a halt immediately. What this does is it puts a lot of stress on the drive like opponents, especially things like your CVs and your axles and your diffs. Now the crawl control function allows you to avoid having the momentum and the speed to go up obstacles like that and sends power to those wheels that do have traction on the opposite sides of the axles. What that allows you to do is crawl up with maximum traction and uh, safely get up there without putting that extreme stress on those parts. So the only time where crawl control really isn't going to work is when all four wheels are spinning at exactly the same rate and have very similar traction. So if you're going up a very steep hill where all four wheels are spinning on the ground or stuck in a bog where all four wheels are just spinning, crawl control is not going to be able to assist you to get any further and you're going to have to recover some other way. So the last function we're going to talk about today is turn assist. Turn assist can be used when you're in low range and in crawl control modes. 
and it's used for turning around in tight spaces and it does reduce the uh, turning circle of your vehicle. So this system uses additional braking force to the inside turning rear wheel and this assists in dragging the car around. So what we're going to do now is we're going to jump on inside the car, we're going to go through how to activate each of the systems and what it looks like on a dash, and then we're going to try and put it up some of these obstacles and show you the difference between all the scenarios I've talked about. So let's jump in and give it a go. Okay, so when going off-road, the first thing you're going to want to do is activate your centre diff lock. So you do that by pressing the switch by the driver's right knee, and you'll see the light illuminate on the speedo side of the dash. The next thing you want to do is chuck it into low range. So the way you do that is by switching the gearbox into neutral, and then turning it to low range using this button. So you push the button in and turn it across, and uh, we're now in low range. So you notice a couple of things here. Your anti-skid turns off, you have your four low on the dash, and uh, you also have your camera that pops up on the main screen in the VX and Sahara models. Now a great thing about this screen as well is it does have these two lines here which indicate where your wheels are gonna be placed, and they change as you turn the wheel around. Now in the center of the screen as well, again on the VX and Sahara models, you do get your multi-terrain select. So this has rock, rock and dirt, mogul, loose rock and mud and sand. So as I was describing before, using the rotary knob here in the center of the vehicle, you can change between these settings here and that will affect the sensitivity of the traction control system. So like we were saying before, the way to activate your crawl control feature is by pulling the gearbox into drive or reverse and then you can press the button here that indicates coral control, switching it on and off. So if we turn it on there, you'll see that your traction control system is disabled, and you also have a green light on the dash indicating coral control is activated. Now in the center screen, you do have your speed settings. So again, using this rotary knob, this will also change the speed from low to medium to high. So again, that will depend on the surfaces you are at. Okay, so when you're in crawl control, if you wish to activate the uh, turn assist, you'll need to turn your center diff lock off. So once your center diff lock is disengaged, you can then activate turn assist by pressing the button just underneath the crawl control button, making sure crawl control is still activated. Once you do that, another green light will come up on the speedo side of your dash, and then you can full lock your wheel to either left or right, and uh, again, choose the speed using a rotary dial, and the car will then activate its crawl control feature. So to deactivate it is much the same. So in order to deactivate crawl control, you press the on and off button. You can then put the car back to neutral. That's where you can then disengage low range if you wish to do so. And that will turn your car right back to how you were when you're driving on the road. So what we'll do now is we'll take the car over to some of these uh, hills over here. And we'll show you the difference that these systems make on some of these obstacles. Okay, so what we're going to do on this hill is we're going to start off in low range without the center diff lock on. So essentially no traction aids, traction control is turned off and centre diff lock is not activated. So this will do the same sort of driving conditions you are on the road, except for with the low range gearbox in place. So let's see how far we get. We'll go back down, try a little bit more momentum and see how far we get. So the same thing there again, we've got the front uh, passenger and the rear drivers just hung up there and they're just spinning in the air without a traction control. So let's head back down. Okay, so for this one, we'll activate traction control again. Now we've got our multi-terrain uh, multi select back and we'll show you the difference between the sand mode and the rock mode. So first of all, we'll go to sand, which is labeled as mud and sand, and we'll uh, see how far we get up on this mode. Okay, so as you saw there, there was a little bit of activation and traction control, but nowhere near enough to get up this hill. We just had a lot of wheel spin there. So we'll head back down and try something else. Okay, this time we'll try the rock mode. So we're going from one extreme to the other, just using the traction control system. We did make it up that one, but only just, and there was a lot of wheel spin there. So let's head back down and try crawl control. 
Okay, so back to the base of the hill again. We'll see in a select crawl control. We will take speed three out of five. We're in drive, foot off the pedals, and we'll just crawl up and see how far we get. And there we have it, nice and easy. That was a lot uh, more controlled and a lot uh, easier on the car than it was in rock mode. So the great thing about crawl control is not only does it work down, uh, uphill, it also works downhill as a downhill descent control. So we'll do it on the same hill we just came up, using it on its uh, second slower speed and to hold us down this hill. There we have it, nicely controlled down to the bottom of the hill, no dramas there. Okay, so the final test we're gonna to do today is the testing the Toyota Land Cruiser's turn assist control function. So this essentially applies some braking force to the inside rear turning wheel and attempts to pull the car around in conjunction with the steering wheel on full lock. So we do a couple of turns today. We're gonna to do one without it, see what the uh, turning circle is there, and then one with it and see how much difference it actually makes. And uh, you'll be able to see how it works along the way. So let's get that done. So just as before, we're going to be wanting to be in low range when the centre diff lock needs to be off. Put the car into drive, then in cross into manual one, crawl control on, turn assist on, and we'll just do it at the second slower speed. We'll turn the steering wheel full lock left, and we'll see what it does. there okay so back in the same position now we're going to go to low range first gear full lock to the left and we do the exact same thing again but without the crawl control uh, the turn assist function on so let's see how much difference it makes Okay guys, so there you have it. Look, it's a bit windy out there at the moment, but as you probably saw that turn assist work there, it was locking up that inside wheel as we did the turn. So I've done both turns and surprisingly, they've ended up very similar. So not sure whether that's to do with the high traction surface that we've got going on at the moment. This is um, just some a light shale of loose gravel and then some hard rock underneath. Um, but to be honest, I've never actually used the crawl control turn assist function anyway uh, when I'm out in the bush. It just uh, one of those ones that seems to get neglected a bit. So look, I hope today's video has been uh, helpful for you. I hope you, you've learned at how all these systems work in the 200 series and uh, seen exactly how it works on those hills that we tried before. Um, look, the crawl control system is an awesome system. It works in so many different types of terrains, whether you're bogged in sand, mud, or trying to go up or down hills. It's a really great system that Toyota have put in the car and uh, one that I use frequently, frequently when we go off-roading. So uh, 
Look, I hope you enjoy the video. If you like the video, make sure to like and subscribe down below. And uh, don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Instagram to see what we're up to and where we are. Otherwise, if you like the sort of videos, we do do a few videos on our Land Cruiser 200, some of the other four-wheel drives we go driving with, and also our caravan being a Jayco journey. So make sure to check them out, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks, guys.